the rain is back and not letting crews fix up a part of an important freeway in the East Bay. Also, a retired vet is asking for your help. That and more news coming up on Sinkton. Hi everyone, Dana San Juan here filling in for Abby Fernandez. Here are some of our top stories. If you drive from or to the Central Valley, listen up. What started as a crack on eastbound 580 over the Altamont Pass turned into a landslide. And Tuesday's rain is not letting crews repair it. We're talking about a 250-foot section of retaining wall that slid and broke away from the freeway, causing the road to crack even more. So, at least one lane is shut down just east of Northland Road near Livermore. Now, Caltrans says they might set up a temporary lane to help out with the traffic, but as long as it's raining, they can't really do much. And for a permanent solution, they'll have to rebuild it completely. And that could take weeks. We'll keep you posted on NBCBayArea.com. Switching gears now, do you recognize these people here? A disabled veteran from San Lorenzo is asking for the public's help in identifying and reporting the thieves who stole his catalytic converter. Now, this isn't just another catalytic converter theft. Retired Marine Sergeant Bruce Calderon says his car is specifically adapted to his disabilities. So, this really kind of stops him from being able to live a normal life. Let's listen. I reviewed my Nest camera footage and my nightmare began. I saw two armed, masked individuals target my property, attempt to steal my cars, and eventually stealing my catalytic converter from my truck that's specifically adapted to my disabilities because I'm a disabled veteran. Someone recognizes these individuals and someone recognizes this vehicle. It's very particular, it's very unique. Do the right thing, report it. He says the thieves were in an Audi Q5 model 2015 to 2020. Anyone with information should contact police. Now I know this crazy weather makes us hard to believe, but spring break is just around the corner and many Bay Area families might be looking to get out of town. Vacation rental apps make it super easy to find somewhere to stay, but do you get the privacy you think you do? Here's consumer investigator Chris Kamura to explain how to find out if there are cameras at the vacation rental you've booked. Once you arrive at a property, you can take a couple steps to scan for cameras. Look for obvious ones, but also look for things like nanny cams and baby monitors. Many surveillance cameras connect to the internet using home Wi-Fi. You can download an app like Fing to see all the devices that are connected to the home Wi-Fi. It might also help you identify what's what and what's currently streaming to the internet. To watch the full explainer, go to NBCBayArea.com slash how to. All right, guys, be safe out there. Thanks for watching.